piece of junk. Hi there and welcome to another edition of Trash Compactor. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to paint the Flexi Pilot Helmet that is available in my Etsy store. So I did a recent video Hoth Helmet Conversion where it involved dremeling out the heads from the Hoth figure and making them into helmets. Well this, this is a bit of a nightmare um, and it also trashes the head that I probably could use on another custom. So I decided to make some helmets that could be used as a replacement to spare heads instead. So this video is just going to focus on how to paint them, uh, it's quite simple. They're flexible helmets done in a high quality flexible resin. They have the appearance of almost like gummy bears but they you can't, you can't completely squish them or they will collapse. So what I've done here is a plain white acrylic paint and I'm just giving the helmet a really 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 good covering of the white paint. Uh, you could add a little bit of grey to dull it down, you could change the tone, you could paint it whatever colour you wanted. It, completely depends on you the customizer. Because I'm making these for my Hoth Luke and my Hoth DAC I'm going with painting them white. I could dirty them up but it probably wouldn't fit in with the sort of the look of the figures because their outfits aren't dirty, they're, they're, they're toys based on the film so uh, they're not very going to be 100% screen accurate as in adding dirt and layers. They're not going to be any anywhere near like a remnant trooper put it that way. Just transferred it to a pair of tweezers just to give myself a little bit more control holding it because uh, well, I can't actually get round to the edges when I got it stuck on my finger. So I painted the first helmet and what I'm going to need to do is now just pop that down, uh, touch up some bits that I've missed and then I'm going to leave that to dry off and move on to the other helmet. Painting the second helmet in exactly the same way I have done the first. And now I'm just going to leave them both there and give them some time to dry off. So they've both dried off. They're, uh, they're fine to touch now. Again, they've still got a little bit of flex, but because they're painted, it uh, makes them a little bit more rigid. But you can you still get movement on them. And because of the soft flexible resin, it, it won't rub any paint off any of your, your figures. So... Again, I'm going to be using the Toy Poloi PDF sticker for the Insignia because uh, they're just in the perfect size so there's no point creating my own. Toy Poloi's PDF sheets are, are in, insanely good and uh, great if you're a customiser, just go get them. They're, they're totally worth it. He charges like 99p for the PDF and you can print off as many as you want from here to eternity. Just don't sell them to people because that is totally out of order. So I've used my hole punch. That is for belts and now I've embossed my transparent paper. Just going to use my scalpel and just uh, loosen them off. It doesn't always puncture through uh, but the, what I'm trying to do is literally just create an edging from a, to be able to follow to get a nice edge. So I'm going to apply that to the helmet and then move on and do exactly the same with Luke's helmet. So there we go, I've put the in the Rebel Insignia on the helmet, you can pair the two, you can see the original helmet doesn't have as high a ridge. The good thing about my, my resin helmets is they're a little bit more defined. And to put the detail on, I'm not going to go with a solid red band, what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to grab a sharpie. Uh, sharpie onto the paint will stay perfectly fixed and then I'm just going to hand draw on the central line that goes down Luke's helmet and then moving on and doing the two side lines that follow the ridge along the whole length of the helmet. Sharp is great for painting onto paint. Um, you've got to be careful sometimes because uh, if you don't leave them to dry off long enough, if you go stick a bit of satin gloss on 10 minutes later, it will bleed and your figure will look a complete mess. So if you're going to add any gloss to it, you've got to leave it to dry for quite a while or use a spray varnish over the top and go in very light burst but you've got to let it dry off for quite a while before you uh, gloss over the top of it. It's, it's, it's a quick alternative. I have used shops in the past for drawing on figures when I first started customising. I tried to turn an, um, an emperor into a purple cloaked person for some reason and uh, yeah it went on the figure great but it rubbed off forever and I permanently had purple fingers so uh, doesn't work great drawing onto uh, plastic. I 
So there we go, I've added all my different detail, I did a yellow sharpie to fill in the uh, the block at the front of Luke's helmet. You can get all these sort of pens on Amazon, uh, they're, you're basically looking for something that it can be water based but it'll water resistant, eventually when they dry become permanent, there's, you really want something that's got an alcohol content and then the idea is then that evaporates off, it becomes a permanent fixture. So I'm using this super fine black uh, liner pen which is great for doing detail. It's also great for drawing eyes and eyebrows onto figures if you uh, don't feel confident painting and you get quite an effective outcome from that. I'll probably do a video on that later in the future. So I'm just doing the emblems on the side of uh, Luke's and Dak's helmet, which is the circle with the three flashes. Uh, again, this is something they don't put on the vintage figures, but it does feature prominently in the film. So there we go. I've drawn on the detailing onto both the helmets. They've had a little bit of time to dry off. Um, um, I'm not going to give them a coat of uh, gloss or satin gloss at the moment or varnish. I don't think they need it. They'll They'll stay as they are. As you can see, if you compare it to the original helmet, it's got a lot more definition and I think it looks quite nice. So if you wanted to give it a coat of uh, gloss, the visors would be a little bit more transparent and probably, you know, I should have done this, should have glossed them before I finished the video, but they're sat on my shelf and they're looking, they're looking fine, so I'm totally happy. And there we go, there's the finished resin painted helmet. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more in the future or suggest some potential future makes, please subscribe. What a piece of junk!